Hey everyone, okay so I have another 90s nostalgia video for you today and this is going to be about the tweenies. Um, that could essentially fit into a, t a, 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 a video about today's kids shows because it is still on and kids still do love it but I thought because it came out in 1999 when I was 7 I'm going to class it as a 90s nostalgia show for me and the other 90s kids and I know most people won't need explained what the tweenies are but just in case you're unaware or you've never seen it or you have forgotten it's about four children who go to nursery and the adventures they get up to there. Now I say children, they're not played by humans, or there's humans there, but they're, they're dressed up characters um, and they don't look like humans do of course. Um, Bella has a yellow face and blue hair and um, they've got yellow faces, orange faces. Um, you know what I mean, just with the, um, that's the way on actually for Bella, but you know that they're not normal colours, they're not normal features, they don't look like humans. But their characteristics are like humans, you know, they have the same problems, they talk like children, they act like children, they sound like normal human children. So each episode takes us through a different adventure and what they get up to. But before it all starts, we have a song. Because if they press the tweeny clock, tweeny clock, where will it stop? And at the beginning of every episode, it always, always, always starts on song time. And we have this really lovely, fun, lively kids song. Um, and they say it usually in rounds and things and um, it helps the children interact and gives them a bit more energy and makes them a bit more musical. And then during the main bulk of the episode we have a different adventure. For example, it might be messy time when they have to do a make and do thing or they might have to go and visit, go to the park, go and visit somewhere and it's always educational. Um, like If they go out and visit somewhere, if they go into the park, we learn about the surroundings or they might go and see how something is made. So the children watching the show are always going to learn as well. And then at the end of the um, episode, we have a story. Generally, um, it'll be Max or Judy, who are like the two the people who run the nursery. Um, they will read a story, and that is a real story. It is a real book that's in their hand, and it is a story that a lot of children will be able to relate to. I've quite often seen um, a story being read on the tweenies, and then I went into a library, or my brother or sister have had that book as well, and it's. It's quite nice to say that you've got that book in your hand and you could hold that book at the same time that they're reading it on the tweenies and I think that is really nice. So the plot of each episode, there are 390 episodes according to Wikipedia, um, which is quite a lot, but it is educational but it is very very fun which is the main thing. You know, it, there's never a dull moment, it's always generally quite happy and bubbly. There's generally a low point in each episode where one of the characters is a bit upset because something has happened and then they have to be cheered up. So it teaches you morals as well, it teaches, it teaches children things like sharing, um, how to be nice to one another, how to overcome certain problems. So the plot is good and the characters are also great. Um, the kids, um, Milo, Jake, Bella and Fizz. Fizz is always my favourite, she's the girly one. Didn't really ever like Bella or Milo, um, and then Jake is the youngest. You also have, as I said, Max and Judy who run the nursery, um, and then the two dogs, Doodles. Doodles is the main dog. He's the red and yellow one, and then you have Izzles. Izzles came in a bit in, a, in like a later series, but the characters as well are really complex and really are quite entertaining as well. So that is brilliant. Now the Tweenie franchise itself is also mega. You know, if you flick through the Argos catalogue, you will find Tweenies toys. I, I actually have a Tweenies cup as well. I got that when I was younger. I've still got it. Um, you know, they have CDs, DVDs. They have their own tour, the Tweenies on tour. Mental. They've had singles in the charts and everything. You know, it really is quite incredible, this TV show. Children everywhere love it. And I don't know a child that doesn't. I just can't think of a single bad thing to say about this. Except for maybe once you've watched an episode, whatever song they sang at the beginning gets stuck in your head the whole way through and then for the rest of the day. But generally speaking it is pretty perfect and I don't have anything bad to say about it. So definitely go and watch the tweenies if you haven't had it. The target audience obviously it is a CBBS show so it's like not to 7 is the target audience for this. Um, but you know I still watch it for fun and things and it's really lively and entertaining, it makes you feel happy when you're down, it gives you a bit of extra energy and things and it's just an all round brilliant so, so kudos to CBBS for showing it. Please feel free to leave comments and things and let me know your thoughts on the show and let me know if you still watch it or if you've never seen it, let me know if you've not seen it, that would be quite interesting. Um, but yeah, so please feel free to leave comments, if you have any requests let me know. I have a couple of contests or giveaways live just now, so go and check them out if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye guys!